Hey, what's going on football fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and also hit the like button on this video. Alrighty, so uh, we're on to week three in ACC play, but first let's go ahead and let's break down the games that took place in week number two. So this first game up here, uh, we have SMU versus BYU, and um, this was one of those grinded out matchups, and BYU, uh, they did hold on to take down SMU at home and um, I'm telling you right now uh, SMU their introduction to the power four uh, has not been very good so far you know they're two and one uh, but remember in their first game in week zero against uh, Nevada they did not look very good and then they lost this game versus BYU and so SMU better start figuring it out because if they continue to play like this against power opponents uh, it's going to be a very long year for them. So how about Duke um, coming coming back and beating Northwestern in double overtime on the road, mind you. And so that's a very good win for the Blue Devils. Uh, Manny Diaz, he's now 2-0 and as the Blue Devils head coach. Uh, this next game, Syracuse versus Georgia Tech. Uh, this was a very good game, as expected, uh, between two uh, two very good teams. And uh, Georgia Tech, they fought back, but it was just too little too late. And Syracuse held on and got the win at the Dome. Um, and speaking of coming from behind, how about Pittsburgh going on the road to Cincinnati? They were down pretty good uh, in this game, and they clawed back and stole one on the road uh, versus the Bearcats. And then how about Cal uh, going on the road to Auburn? Uh, this game uh, really was nowhere near as close as what the score showed. Um you know, Cal, Cal's looking good so far uh, in the ACC, and who knows, they might end up being a potential dark horse uh, for the ACC. Of course, it's way too early in the season to figure that out by now, but uh, but still, big win for them uh, going to the Plains to take on Auburn, and they took down Auburn, so good win for them. Boston College and uh, Louisville, they took care of business easily uh, versus Duquesne and Jacksonville State. Uh, same way with North Carolina uh, defeating Charlotte. Uh, Virginia Tech, uh, they bounced back after that win versus uh, Vandy. They beat Marshall uh, this past Saturday. This game was pretty close for quite a while, though. Uh, but uh, at the end, Tech just pulled away. They were just the better team. Uh, Miami uh, had a very good, strong performance versus uh, Florida A&M. Stanford beat Cal Poly. And then uh, Wake Forest versus Virginia. So... <laughs> Um, I know I got this game wrong in my predictions. I picked Wake to win this game. Uh, but this is one game I'm definitely glad that I'm wrong about. Speaking as a Virginia fan, um, Virginia, once again, they had to come from behind and win this game. Uh, going on the road to Winston and taking down Wake Forest for the first time since 2007. This was a huge, huge win for us. And, of course, um, you know, the defense – didn't play all that well, but they showed up when it mattered. And so very, very happy about that. Uh, Tennessee, uh, they just destroyed NC State. And NC State, they got some issues right now. Uh, more on that later. Uh, their offense is not playing very well. Uh, but speaking of offense, Clemson, wow. <laughs> uh, they put up put up a 60-burger on App State the other night. Um, a lot of people, myself included, thought that this might be a close game. And maybe, just maybe, App State could pull off uh, one of their world-famous upsets. But they didn't do that this time. The game was not even close. And then, so Clemson, they bounced back. And they took care of business versus the Mountaineers. And then Florida State, uh, they had a bye week, which, let's be real, they needed a bye week after the two weeks that they had. And so, uh, moving on. To week three, so speaking of Florida State, so they're back at home again, uh, this time against Memphis. So uh, Mike Norvell, uh, he'll be going against his old school. He he was the head coach at Memphis before he left to take the job at FSU. And um, this is going to be a tough game for Florida State because Memphis, uh, Memphis is a good team. Uh, they're one of the teams that's that could possibly get that group of five college football playoff bid. And whew, I had a hard time with this one. I'm going to go with Florida state, but I mean, I'm not feeling too good about this pick. If I'm being honest with you, I could see Memphis going to Doak Campbell and pulling off an upset. I would not be shocked at all. 
if that were to take place. And so NC State, they're back at home uh, versus Louisiana Tech, but their offense has struggled. And, you know, it's disappointing because when you have a quarterback like Grayson McCall, I understand, you know, he's coming into a new system after all those years at Coastal Carolina, but still, I mean, they should they should be better than that, especially, you know, with the the talent that they have around him. They got the guy, I forget his name, who's a transfer from Duke at running back, uh, Concepcion at wide receivers. So they got some good pieces on that team. And their offense just has not played well uh, so far to start off the season. So this game here, I think, is going to be the game of the week in the ACC, and it doesn't even involve two ACC teams. So Boston College, um, they have been very good this year, but they are going to get tested. They're going to get tested big time. They go on the road to Missouri. Uh, Missouri, I believe, is a top 10 team now. And it's going to be interesting to see how BC, we're going to find out uh, what BC really is. If they win this game or if they lose but keep it close, um, I think I think we'll know what kind of team they are, and I think they'll be known as a good team. But this game is on the road, and Missouri is just too good. And so I'm going to go with Mizzou to take down Boston College. And then this next game, Miami, uh, they shouldn't have any problems versus uh, Ball State. Uh, that quarterback, Cam Ward, that they have, uh, he he's, he's a baller. And I like what I'm seeing out of Miami so far. And then Georgia Tech, uh, they'll bounce back easily uh, after that loss to Syracuse. They take on VMI. They should not have any problems with the Kedets. All right, so this next game uh, is the backyard brawl, Pitt versus West Virginia. Uh, <laughs> you know what, guys? I had a hard time with this one, and this is literally a toss-up game. It's 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 a it's a fifty-fifty game. So this rivalry was restarted two years ago in Pittsburgh, and then and I think they're playing each other every year for the next ten or so years, if I'm not mistaken. So when they played two years ago, West Virginia was in this game and they were looking to drive. And then JT Daniels throws that pick six, which essentially sealed the game for Pitt. And then West Virginia won in Morgantown last year. I had a hard time with this one, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the Mountaineers. I like Pitt. I like West Virginia to, uh, to go on the road and to take down their biggest rival. All right, so Duke, uh, they play UConn, battle of two basketball schools playing football. Uh, I like Duke in this matchup. And then North Carolina, I like them to knock off NC Central. So Virginia Tech, they go on the road to Old Dominion. So Old Dominion has been a house of horrors for the Hokies. So their last two trips to ODU have resulted in losses, uh, most recent of which was two years ago, which was Brent Pry Brent Price first game as the head coach for Tech. ODU just has a way of giving big opponents fits. And I would not be shocked. I mean, just based on the fact, like I said, it's a house of horrors for, for the Hokies. I can see them losing this game just based on that. But I do think they will get the monkey off their back, and I think they will take down the Monarchs. So Wake Forest is at home versus Ole Miss. Yeah, forget about it. Uh, Wake does not stand a chance against Ole Miss. Uh, I have a feeling Ole Miss is going to put up at least 50, 60, maybe even 70 points in this game. So Virginia on Saturday night takes on Maryland, and this is an old ACC rivalry game. So uh, these two teams played last year in College Park. Now, uh, Virginia got out to a 14-0 lead, and then all of a sudden, here comes Maryland. They scored 42 unanswered, unanswered points on us. And so, you know, who who knows what might have been. So I still have concerns about the defense for Virginia. Their offense is looking pretty good with uh, Anthony Calandria, as well as uh, we have some pretty decent wide receivers as well, like Malachi Fields and also uh, Tyler Neville, who transferred in at tight end from – uh, Harvard. I'm going to go with Virginia. Uh, I think the defense, once again, they'll need to show up. And who knows, it might be one of those games like the Wake Forest game where they showed up when it mattered the most. I'm going to go with UVA uh, to take down Maryland. And then Cal uh, is at home versus uh, San Diego State. I like the Golden Bears to take down the Aztecs. 
And then uh, as far as teams on by this week, uh, Clemson, Louisville, SMU, Stanford, and Syracuse, they all have a bye this week. All right, so that is my picks and predictions for week three in the ACC. Uh, let me know in the comments section uh, who do you have winning this week, who's on upset alert. Let me know down below, guys. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.